Hello and welcome to Reads. That's short for really exciting and delightful stories. I'm your host, Najee Grant. I'm a children's author. On this show, we explore children's stories and authors, authors like you. As a matter of fact, you can appear on this show with me and read your story. And now we have a spring short story contest where it's open to all ages and to participate, you have to write and illustrate a story no longer than 32 pages about your best or worst summer vacation. All winning stories will be featured on TV with me and the elementary school winner will receive two tickets to the Police Touch Museum. Your middle school winner will receive two tickets <coughs> to Six Flags. A high school winner will receive a $100 scholarship and the adult winner will receive a $100 gift card to Amazon.com. All prizes are sponsored by Serta Pro Painters on the main line. And the contest began March 21st and ends May 25th. Give me your entries to LMTV at 75 East Lancaster Avenue, Ardmore, PA. And you can visit us at theworldsmadeforyou.org or you can email the submission at lmtv at lowermarion.org. So you can be on TV with me and read your story to everyone. And doesn't that sound exciting? Well, speaking of stories, I have a special guest with me today. Kaylee Wong from Ethan Elementary School is here to read her story, Audrey and the Magic Mirror. So how are you, how are you Kaylee? Good. You're good. So we, you were part of the, uh, our second um, contest that we did in the winter time. We received over 60 submissions and you were one of our winners, right? So we, we received your, your story, uh, we read it, we enjoyed it, a lot and we wanted you to share your story to a broader audience that's why we brought you on here today so before you have you read your story you want to tell us a little bit about how you came up with the idea for your story so um i like a lot of books and um one of my favorite books is whatever after and they have a magical mirror when they go into fairy tales so i kind of wanted to use that so i use that and the character audrey is based on my friend audrey mm. at school and she also has a dog named rosie and in the story there also is a dog very interesting so do you have an interest in writing when you get older yes so let me ask you just one, two more questions. So what is one of your favorite subjects in school? Science. Science. Interesting. So maybe on our next, one of our next contests, you can write a book maybe you think can be science related. But I also like writing and reading. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So let me see. So you have interest in, in writing. Will you have an idea about what you want to do when you get older? Um, I have like three ideas. Like, so I want to be an author and illustrator. Um, I also want to be an actor, and I want to be an astronaut. Oh, well, sky's the limit. <laughs> sky's the limit, you can do all three. I bet you had the talent to do all three in your lifetime. Well, without further ado, I wanted to let Kaylee read her story to everyone else. Audrey and the Magic Mirror by Kaylee Wong. One day on Tickleberry Street, there lived a girl named Audrey in the house 502. But Audrey had a special secret. She could read minds. Nobody knew, but it made her have a lot of empathy because she knew how others felt. However, today was going to be better. After dinner, Audrey waited at the door with her dog Rosie to welcome Melanie, her best friend, to her sleepover. Two minutes later, Melanie soon arrived. Melanie, cried Audrey, you're here. Yes, Melanie, I brought along some cards, friendship bracelet kit, and nail polish. Let's do friendship bracelets, said Audrey. Okay, said Melanie. Audrey picked pink and indigo. Melanie picked green and red. Then they played go fish. Finally, they painted their nails. Melanie gave Audrey a cute horse. Audrey gave Melanie an ice cream cone. Then they took off their nail polish and hopped into bed. They stayed up all night chatting until, until 12 o'clock. Then they changed and went into the basement to play. They played tag till Melanie banged into a 100-year-old mirror. A strange hissing sound started across the room. Stop hissing, Melanie told Audrey. I'm not, you are, said Audrey. No, I'm not, said Melanie. We'll keep playing, said Audrey. Then Audrey slammed into the mirror. Ugh, said Audrey. Suddenly the mirror glowed purple and the mirror was sucking them in. After they were sucked in, they landed with a thud on a giant mushroom. Ew, I hate mushrooms, except for truffles, said Melanie. 
Where are we? wondered Audrey. How will we get out of here? wondered Audrey over and over. She mind read Melanie. Hmm, she thought. Melanie thinks we should go look for help. Is it dangerous? I'll have to risk it. Melanie, said Audrey. Let's go look for help. Okay, said Melanie. Let's go. And off they went. They looked and looked till something tickled Audrey's arm. It's a fairy, whispered Melanie. Hi, I'm Lulu, said the tiny fairy. OMG, said Audrey. I can't believe this. Welcome to the magical world of magic, said Lulu. I guess you took a mirror portal here. It's very rare. What, said Melanie. You came through a magical mirror to a different dimension, said Lulu. Look at this map. Wow, said Audrey. But will we be able to get back home? Those who return home only have to defeat the Grubster Trolls, said Lulu. Who are the Grubster Trolls, asked Melanie. More later, said Lulu. Then quickly she zapped them to fairies. Cool, said Audrey. Then she zapped them a portal to Fairyland. We'll be there in a second, girls, called Lulu. Come on. They arrived at Fairyland. A fairy king and queen were standing before them. Bow, mouthed Audrey to Melanie. They did. Then a king and queen took Lulu to the room and talked. When they were done, the king came out. I see you have been told a little bit of the Grubster Trolls, continued the queen. Your only way home is to defeat those grumpy Grubsters. Sorry we have to be this challenging, but we really don't like them, especially the flying doggies. Will you accept? Sure, said Audrey. Okay, follow me, the queen said. So, continued the queen, leading them to a shimmering pool. Look, they looked in. The pool rippled, and all the creatures that lived in the magical world appeared, with the Grubsters chasing them. Please tell them to stop, said the queen. Be brave. Okay, said Melanie. Go with them, the queen told Lulu. They soon arrived at the Grubster cave. The wind blew and the chill went up their backs. Then a tiny Grubster came out. Ha, cried Lulu, taking out a plastic sword. Wait, said the Grubster. I can explain. So, the Grubster started. Our Grubster king won't let us be, be good or stop attacking everyone. We want to stop, said the Grubster. You want us to stop? Go deal with the king. Which direction? asked Melanie. That way, said the Grubster. Come on, said Lulu. Creepy. They went through tunnels and narrow doorways till they came to a throne room. There sat a grumpy, ugly Grubster king. I apologize, your er, majesty, said Lulu awkwardly. We want to know why you keep attacking everybody. Could you please, um, stop? The king stood up and said, I would like everyone to be my friend. They were shocked. Why don't you just ask, said Lulu. I guess I've never thought about it that way, said the Grubster. Grubsters, go and spread the word, and off they went. Soon the Grubsters came back with good news. The people had agreed. They all wanted to be his friend. They decided to celebrate at Mermaid Lagoon. They all went there and had a wonderful time. Everyone was invited. They all changed into bathing suits. Soon the King Grubster made a speech about how sorry he was. Soon it was time for Audrey and Melanie to leave. Thank you so much, said Lulu. I knew you could do it. Then she conjured up a portal for home. Bye, Lulu, they said. Then they stepped into the portal. When they exited the portal, Melanie said, Was it a dream? Let's just say it was, said Audrey. Come on, my parents' alarm goes off at 6.59. It's 6.51. So they headed upstairs giggling and thinking about their adventure. The end. <laughs> the end. And did you want to read the, the back? Yep. Okay. Kaylee Wong loves drama, singing, dancing, karaoke, hip-hop, art, reading, and pandas, and candy, and soup dumplings. The characters and story are related to my life. The character Audrey is based on my real-life best friend, Audrey J. F. I got the mere idea for one of my favorite book series, Whatever After, by Sarah Milanowski. I love spending time with friends and family, and I hope you like the book. <laughs> the end. Well, we enjoyed reading your story when you submitted it, and we all agreed that we, should be, we wanted you to share this with a broader audience. I, you should be proud of yourself, and I know for a fact that your mom and your family is definitely proud of you. Um, I believe that sky's the limit, and anything you want to achieve, um, whether it's being an actor or not, uh, an author, illustrator, and what was the third one? Actor. And an actor. You can do all those things. I believe that you have the potential to do all those things. So if you, if you have the um, you have the option to submit another story for another contest, and hopefully we'll see you again. So it was great to speak with you, Kaylee. Um, so we've got to take a break. 
But when we come back, we'll read another story and tell you even more about how you can be on TV with me and read your story that you wrote. Hello, and welcome back to Reads. That's short for really exciting and delightful stories. And I'm your host, Najee Grant, and I'm a children's author. On this show, we explore children's stories and authors. In the first part of the show, we read Audrey and the Magic Mirror by Kaylee Wong. Now, I would like to read, uh, introduce um, Sophie Liu from Marion Elementary to read her story called Lily the Bee's Birthday. So welcome, Sophie, to the show. So we, you were part of our first uh, contest this past winter, and we received over 60 submissions, and you were one of our winners. Uh, so tell me a little bit about how you came up with the story, uh, the idea for your story. Well, like, I thought, like, a good animal for my um, story would be a bee. So, I wanted my story to be fun, so I thought of birthday, so I came up with Lily the Bee's birthday. Interesting. Very interesting. And how long did it take you to write your story? About a month. About a month. All right. So, what is one of your um, favorite subjects at Marion Elementary? I think library. Library? You like reading? Yeah. It's one of your favorite books. Um, I have a lot, mm. and um, my favorite one, like, I read fairy books, and um, I like the special edition books because they are thicker than um, the regular ones. Okay, hey, big reader. All right. Well, without further ado, I'm going to let you read your story. You can begin now. Lily the Bee's Birthday by Sophie Liu. This is Lily. She is a bee. Lily lives in a tree. Lily has many friends. This is Lily's friend Bear. He is smart and loves to play a drum. This is Lily's friend Parrot. She is very good at flying. This is Pig. He is good at snorting. These are Lily's friends. They are all good at something. Lily is good at buzzing, staying, and flying. Lily's friends all come to her birthday party. All of Lily's friends went home without cake. Lily looks at TV. She is happy. TV is funny. But most, she misses her friends. So Lily called their names. Yeah, it worked! Yay! They ate, ate some cake. Everyone went home again, but Lily was happy. She had presents to open. Lily is, and Lily is still happy. She can play with her toys. And Lily turned seven years old. Lily is beaming with pride. Today is also Christmas. She will get more toys. Lily will have fun playing with so many new toys. The end. The end. Well, it was a very interesting story, and we enjoyed not only just the story, but also the illustrations. Um, as well. So let me ask you uh, this, Sophie. Do you have, you already are in uh, first grade, do you have an idea about what you want to do when you get older yet? No. No. Well, sky's the limit for whatever you want to do because we were very proud of um, reading your story and I know that your mom, dad, and your family are very proud of you as well. So we thank you for have your submission and thank you for coming on and we hope that you su submit one of your another story in another contest that we're having this spring you're more than welcome to submit it and hopefully if you win you can come back on and share again okay and how would you like to read your story with me right here on tv so this spring we have a short story contest that's open to all ages and to participate you have to write and illustrate a story no longer then 32 pages about your best or worst summer vacation. All winning stories will be featured on TV with the possibility of the writer coasting the show with me, um, just like Sophie did today. The elementary school winner 
received two tickets to the Police Touch Museum. The middle school winner received two tickets to Six Flags. The high school winner received a $100 scholarship. And the adult winner will receive a $100 gift card to Amazon.com. All prizes are sponsored by the Certain Pro Painters of the Main Line. The contest began on March 21st and ends May 25th. You can mail your entries to LMTV at 75 East Lancaster Avenue, Almer, PA, 19003. Or you can email us at LMTV at LauraMarion.org. So you can be on TV with me and read your story to everyone. And doesn't that sound exciting? Until next time, keep writing and reading. Really exciting 